it's Miss Hodgson. Uh, today I thought I'd give you a tutorial on how to make one of these seascape pictures. Uh, it's with mixed media which means that you're using different art techniques to put together to make a whole picture. So you can see up here that the sky and the sand is painted with watercolours and then if you look closely the waves are made out of different blue papers stuck together and then there's some little beach huts that I've added with card on top and I've used some pencil to add some birds in the sky. So I'm going to show you today how to put one of these together. So one of the reasons I really like this activity is it gives us an opportunity to investigate mixing different colours of blue and the different ways you can make different tones and shades. So if you've got blue paper or card in the house that's going to be useful, definitely hang on to that. But let's have a go at making some different blues ourselves by painting them on paper and that will make some extra special waves. Now you can use whatever paint you have at home of course. I made some different blues using poster paints with different amounts of blue and white. Uh, but I'm going to use today some watercolours. If you've got watercolours at home these are going to be brilliant for blending different shades together. So watercolours, the main thing you're going to need is some water. So I'm going to start with just putting a bit of water on top of the paper. And then let's just try what one of the blues looks like by itself before I've mixed anything. Okay. It's a nice turquoise blue. You don't need to worry about going close to the edges because you're going to be tearing this up later on. So I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm going to move on to a different colour blue. I put some water on the paper to start with, just to wet it, and then let's try a, a darker one. I've got a darker blue here. Mm. It's quite strong, isn't it? Maybe if I mix in a bit of cobalt. You get the idea. Anyway, have fun exploring the different shades of blue that you can get. You want some light colours and you want some dark colours to be able to mix them together when we get to the tearing stage. Okay, so you're going to start off with, I've used an A5 piece of white card, uh, but obviously use whatever you have at home. And I'm just going to paint on the sky and the sand before we start cutting out. So to make the sky, I'm just going to put on some water first of all to make the card a little bit damp. And then I need a tiny bit of colour. I'm going to use this cobalt blue. Spread it about a bit to make a sky. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same now for a little line of sand. So let's use... don't want too much because most of the picture is going to be taken up with the waves. Just add a tiny bit of orange to that sand. There we go. Brilliant. I'm going to leave that to dry and then when it's ready we can start putting on the waves. Okay, so if you've got some blue paper already in the house, you can of course use that to help you make some waves. You just need to really tear some pieces, like so. You're not trying to tear a wave shape, you're not trying to tear a straight line, you're just creating some nice strips that you're going to lay onto the page later. So you can have a go using the blue paper that you might have at home, or of course any of the painted paper that you made earlier. Now the reason I like this is that when you tear it, it often has white stripes on the side which almost look a little bit like those white horses that you get on the waves. So go ahead and make a pile of those blue waves ready to stick on your picture. Okay, so you've got your pile of waves ready 
and you've got your card stock prepared and all we do now is have a go at sticking the waves on and it's a bit of a suck it and see so you're going to place them down to see if you think that's a good place for it to go and just basically have a go at layering them on so stick on a wave and then think oh maybe it would be good to have a lighter color next to a darker color and then layer your waves up Once you've finished putting on the waves, you'll notice that there's probably some little white uh, spots around the page, which is absolutely fine. But you can just, with using a little bit of watercolour, fill in a little bit of those gaps so that not every bit is covered with paper. Okay, so for your beach huts, you obviously don't have to put beach huts in there, but I think it's nice to have some sort of detail up on the landscape. So I've just cut out three little beach huts, which I'm going to add some PVA glue and stick down. Now you could do brightly coloured beach huts, like the ones I made earlier. Um, and this time I'm just going to use similar hues to in the water, so they sort of join together. Okay. Just need to add on the roofs and add in the birds and then I'm ready for a frame. Okay so I've added in the roofs for my beach huts and some birds in the sky and now I'm just going to make myself a frame for my picture. Now you can see I chose a contrasting colour for this frame but this time I'm going to use blue because I've used a lot of blue hues in this particular piece. So to make a frame all I'm going to do is take a piece of paper that's about the same size as the picture, if not a tiny bit bigger, and then I'm just going to loosely fold it in half. And then you might need a grown up to help you do this. I'm cutting around the inside of the paper, about a centimetre depth. There we go. And that creates a nice frame you to stick around your picture. There you have it, your finished seascape or beach picture using mixed media. Now of course you could use this to stick up on the wall, at home or on the fridge to decorate your house or they make quite nice um, postcards. You could write a message on the back and send it through the post, perhaps to a grandparent or maybe a care home near where you live to cheer up those people who perhaps haven't had visitors for a while. Hope you're feeling okay, hope you're enjoying things at home and you're enjoying being creative. If you like the video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.